Good day everyone. Uh, today we are going to continue our discussion on the derivatives of transcendental functions, specifically the trigonometric functions. So last time we already solved uh, four problems so far. So this time let us solve uh, problem number five, for example number five that was uh, shown in our last video. Okay, so this is our example number five. So we're given a function of x, k of x equal to the square root of sine of 4x plus 5 or sine of the quantity 4x plus 5. Right, so our initial step here is to uh, just transform this into an uh, because this is radical so express this as an exponential uh, exponential uh, power for this sine for x plus 5 so k of x is equal to uh, instead of writing square root so you just write like this sine of 4x plus 5 and then everything raised to a power one half okay and this time we're going to use the uh, formula uh, the differentiation rule no? we have the derivative of u to the n with respect to x so equal to n times u to the n minus 1 and times the derivative of u with respect to x okay and we also have to use the formula in of the derivative of the trigonometric functions so the derivative of sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u times the derivative of u with respect to x okay and the other rules in differentiation class so to continue with this one uh, we can now take the derivative uh, of this function so k prime of x equal to so using first the power formula so the whole thing here is our u okay so this is our u here all right so k prime of x is equal to so using this formula u to the n derivative of u to the n with respect to x so our u is sine okay then the power oh, the power will go down so we have one half sine of 4x plus 5 and raised to a power n minus 1 so we have one half minus 1 in times the derivative of u so our u here is sine sine of 4x plus 5 so we take the derivative uh, derivative of this <coughs> okay so equal to one half so rewriting this uh, sine of 4x plus 5 raised to a power so what is one half minus one <clears throat> so one half minus one is equal to minus one half <coughs> so 
then derivative of sine so this time we are going to use this formula so in this case class so our u here is this one so this is our u so this is our u So derivative of sine that is cosine so times cosine u so our u is 4x plus 5 all right then times uh, cosine u cosine u our u is this one then times derivative of u all right so derivative of u so what is our u this one Hmm, this is our u 4x plus 5 so derivative of 4x plus 5 with respect to x all right so this is equal to one half uh, rewriting this sine of 4x plus 5 raised to a power negative one half and times cosine of 4x plus 5 and times okay so applying the sum rule so sum rule of differentiation so you have to take the derivative of its term and this quantity so derivative of 4x is equal to 4 derivative of 5 that is 0 so no need to write that one okay so multiplying 4 you have so this becomes 4 times 1 so we have 4 and over 2 so this is sine of 4x plus 5 and everything is raised to negative one half then cosine of 4x plus 5 okay and we will use the principle in our uh, algebra that if you have x to the power minus m this is equal to 1 over x to the power positive m Okay, so we'll use this one for this okay and 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 then times so using this uh, idea here from our algebra so we can rewrite this as 1 over sine of 4x plus 5 and this time this is now power positive 1 half okay then times cosine of 4x plus 5 or we can rewrite this as 2 so we have numerators here so multiplying all the numerators so 2 times 1 times cosine of 4x plus 5 so we have 2 times cosine of 4x plus 5 and divided by so we can use we can transform this into a radical so square root of sine sine of 4x plus 5 okay so this is our k prime of x okay so do you have any question so once again if you have any question class I just uh, send your message in our GC all right and we have here lots of examples which I want you to practice 
Okay, so so far we have solved uh, three, ah, sorry, five. So five already, and we have here uh, some more example which I want you to to practice. Okay, so I'll just uh, show this one. Okay, so there are additional numbers here, class. Okay, so to continue from example number 6 to 10. So try to solve these uh, items here. We have four more uh, items for you to practice. Okay? So I hope uh, you will manage to solve it. I will not show you anymore the, the solution for, for this one. Um, because uh, I will pick up some of this for your quiz and also for your assignment number two okay so that's all for today thank you very much stay safe and healthy always god bless bye